hey guys welcome again to my channel in this video we're watching how mrs mary blaze surprised his husband was his blaze with a very beautiful and lovely birthday dinner you guys know that when they got married Moses Blee just celebrated his birthday and she wasn't really around to celebrate with him so she organized a birthday dinner to celebrate Moses Blee and it was fun filled so guys this is just a few highlights from this beautiful birthday dinner with few friends and family but before you watch the full video if you know you have not subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for please click that subscribe button and to my returning subscribers thank you all so much for always coming back to watch my new upload so guys just keep on watching to see some of the beautiful highlights from this dinner party and also marie also said a lot about moses please and she praised her husband she said so many good things about moses please and they also prayed and prayed in fact it was a fun filled dinner party marie is really raising the bar and likewise moses bliss the both of them are just perfect match for each other because they have been surprising themselves back to back so guys just enjoy the rest of the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more updates like this god bless you all for watching Yeah, so we're cooking local rice and back to the kitchen again. 
I'm standing here is over 37 years <laughs> of active cooking ministry. Are we minus in? What, how, how many years did I say before? 40. Then 37. No, no. I, I, I think I didn't calculate where. When I checked, it's actually uh, uh, 37 years of active, active cooking ministry. No. I understand. Okay. And, uh, Those days I used to slice this thing. I can slice this thing like this morning to night. So it's not I'm standing here, it's not small grace that is standing here. I can close my eyes and you know slice this thing. Even with your glasses. Yes, it's an office. You see? I'm in the circumference of my assignment. Show camera to the lead. Let them see the definition of the slicing. You are slicing what is the slicing? See the woman I'll marry, she will enjoy. See that? No, she will enjoy. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. But the rice is dry. Let's go. Okay, the rice, we need to add it immediately. Yes. Okay, because the rice is drying up. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. Thank you for what you are doing already. My toes get right there. Thank you, Jesus. This rice, eh, anybody that eats it, they will begin to hear God. You will get divine direction for 2022. Hallelujah. It's not an ordinary rice. So let the heat touch it a bit. Okay. So food is almost ready. And um, you can tell everybody when you're dying to start praying. Something is about to hit them. My God. But show the goggles. This one is too sweet. Jesus. Moose, what are you doing? The food is too hot. It's too hot, no. And you can't wait for it to cook. God remembers David even when he was on the field. When everybody else was brought before Samuel, it says, There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him, and we will not sit down until he arrives. I'm here to tell you that if there is somewhere you are meant to be, it does not matter if people have not included you. Because you are with God, God will not forsake you. Even if people forget to bring you into the occasion, they will wait until you get there because God is with you. Amen. Amen. So Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. He was willing to wait for David because he knew that that's who God had anointed. It does not matter if people do not think you are chosen. If God has chosen you, nobody can unchoose you. Amen. So verse 12, so he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. This is the one. Amen. So when we see this example of David in his youth, seeing that all his family was taken before the prophet apart from him, but whilst he was in the field minding his business, they still came to look for him. So he is knowing that when I was young, I have not seen the righteous forsaken. When I was by myself and everybody was somewhere else, they still came to look for me because God was with me.